Welcome to another episode of the uh, Pat Down. You know what it is. I'm here with Chris and Dion, and we're talking about my experience in trying to be a general contractor. I'm building a house all by myself, and I can't even read architecture plans. <laughs> <laughs> Loose grasp on the word, even. <laughs> architecture. Oh. Oh, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go better than Randy's house. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you <laughs> landed yesterday and immediately went to the house. What's going on over there? Why don't you keep the hat on? Oh, because my hair ain't done. Oh. Um, I, I, um, yeah, I landed and went and started working on my house. I had to get a lot of stuff moved. And uh, it, I don't know why when people do construction, they think they just fucking throw everything on the ground. And that's what they do. So that's what they did. They threw every the, fucking thing on the ground. What was on the ground? Trash, bill bottles, you the Mexican shit. Yeah, I did construction cleanup for 10 years. Yeah, people <laughs> people just go, oh, somebody else will clean that up. I was the guy that had to clean that shit up. I mean, I'm, the I'm, toilets I'm, are unreal. I mean, you know what comes speaker? They didn't even clean my fucking toilet today. I gotta see if they're gonna clean it tomorrow. They, it's just like they just throwing shit all on the ground and you know, I'm like, dudes. And then as I'm cleaning up, they throw them over, then they say, bring us more beer. I try to be nice this morning. I brought them beer and donuts and, and water. They ain't gonna fuck about the water. Oh, more beer. Modelo. Modelo is expensive. You sure you don't want but but like I mean. <laughs> who the fuck is it? eating beer and donuts? That does not go together. <laughs> In Georgia heat, it's still gotta be hot as hell down there. <laughs> well, they was eating beer and donuts, and that they sounds have- like some. <laughs> Deportation last meal types. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they was doing, beer and donuts. So I was like, Where'd you get the donuts from? Dunkin' Donuts. I went this morning because I wanted to just show my appreciation. So, you know, like once a week, I, I why home. didn't you buy them good donuts? <laughs> that's not good donuts. I don't like no. Donuts. Dunkin' what? Donuts is straight. That's diarrhea in a box right there. Oh. Worse than Krispy Kreme. I don't know good donuts. Oh, well, let me be your guide. <laughs> okay. Just don't well, ever eat these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was a cheap joke. Oh, I'm like, is it the place called these nuts? <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was a real good place. I'm like, what a place. <laughs> so, so, you know, just trying to get the house going and, um, it, it's construction you know I, let me tell you something I love DIY I don't have much time anymore like I like I used to you know for everything started to take off but sometimes I'll be like you really bit off more than you can handle because I'm the GC the general contractor all, all I do. <laughs> why why would you do that to yourself to save money motherfucker <laughs> to save money <laughs> that's why and, and you know, like today I was out there and you know, they don't give a fuck. They'll take a whole piece of wood and cut a little bit of piece out and throw that piece of scrap. You can't, I said, I have a scrap pile for you. So they got all of these bolts that's called expensive and these clamps and these fucking joist hangers that cost $25. They just got them thrown all around. I went, I bought me a nail picker up for, for, for screws. I'm out there just using nails. Uh, you got them right. I'm out there just picking up screws and because they're gonna ask me to buy them again. They was like, I you don't he wants to buy I need two by two by six by two by four by six. I said, no the fuck you don't pull that motherfucking uh plastic off of that shit back there in the back. I don't organize all the wood, I don't pick up all the trash. I've been out there picking up nuts and bolts. I said, I'm finding this is money. This is fucking money. Cause if I don't pick up, don't tell me we ain't got it, but we got it, nigga, right here in this motherfucking in this motherfucking penny jar, I brought over here to put all y'all scraps in. I can see you out on the beach with the metal detector. <laughs> I bought me one today. <laughs> having, <laughs> having a construction background, Miss Pat, uh, are you worried about the house falling down? <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Because the house has to be inspected. <laughs> 
Yeah, but you're gonna just pay them off. <laughs> no, I can't pay them inspector off. Them motherfuckers don't play. I've had the worst time with concrete guys, right? So first I had a black concrete company. Ah, shit didn't work out. Then I brought this other this other Mexican. He was a wild, wild west Mexican. I said, I need to be paid every day. I need, I said, I'm not gonna pay you every day, you motherfucker. Then he said, My <laughs> own mother don't even talk to me like that. I said, shut the fuck up. You, shut your fucking mouth. So I might argue with him and I'm just, I said, this makes me gonna come back and shoot my head. You had it, you, you, you out <laughs> cursed, what you is out a, wild, a Mexican wild concrete man. Mexican. <laughs> you, he is a construction worker who was offended by you. <laughs> <laughs> he a wild, wild west man. That motherfucker, he said, he said <laughs> can you picture it? <laughs> Miss the Wild Wild West Mexican sitting in the saloon and Miss Pat come in through the double swinging doors with spurs on her cowboy hat, <laughs> diamond studded, like the three I'm, amigos. I'm telling you, he's fucking, he's fucking crazy. He's crazy. I'm telling you that Wild Wild West Mexican. I had to get rid of him. I actually thought he was gonna fucking hit me. Really? What'd you say? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not paying you every day. Listen, so I, just, I, I tell I, the other Mexican, I say, look, you do, you finish his work. Fuck him. Fuck him. Don't call me no more. So he called the other Mexicans, get out of there. Niggas not paying. Nigga <laughs> is paying. Niggas paying. <laughs> I'm just not paying you. 20, every day. 2019 <laughs> me really identifies with that guy, though. I get it. <laughs> Scared. Yeah. So I'm like, um, you know, it's just why it's did he not, want to get paid every day? I don't fucking know, Dion. Nobody, everybody else finished their job and did. And I, we have, we five thousand dollars in the hole with this motherfucker, and I had to let him go. I'm like, I'm sick of you. I'm sick. Of, <clears throat> and he speak no English right and try to call you. <laughs> take, we're gonna take a break. I gotta tell. You. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So so what was I saying? Uh, he didn't speak any English. He didn't speak yeah. on English, so he called me fussy. Look at my money, my money, my money. I, I, I like his money. And I say, calm the fuck down. I don't have your money. My other friend got your money. You know, every day he wants to be paid. So I'm like, you know what? I can't pay you every day. This is not a fucking temporary service. So you're going to have to go somewhere where you, where you can get paid every day. I, I just, I can't do it. I cannot do it. <laughs> I, and I, I'm not going to give you my money every day. I'm sick of you. Bye-bye. That's how the wild, wild west Mexicans operate. <laughs> I mean, he is a fucking idiot. He saw, it. I said, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Who has the kind of money to pay you every day? I don't know. I guess <laughs> I do. I don't. I literally do not have the money to pay this motherfucker idiot every day. So instead of money, she went and got beer and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you found a new concrete person? Yes. The guy, it was another guy, concrete guy there. I, I, I had already had another concrete guy there who was building a, uh, like, okay, so one thing I've learned, I want, I'm going to do some videos on, on just on the madness of construction when I finish. I need to start doing them now because one of the mistakes I made, I made two mistakes so far. One, I should have told the house all the way down. Hmm. That's the first one. I just so should What did you leave? You just tore just the foundation. I left the concrete. I left the block foundation that it was sitting on from 1970 some. Okay. So as they shook the house loose, they mm -hmm. knocked a lot of those blocks loose. So mm -hmm. mind you, that mortar been there for over 30 years. So walls was just falling, and I had to get all of them put back up. And I was like, and then as I put them back up, and I was like, oh my god, I should have left them down. It just dug the whole fucking basement out. Right. So I would have had a way bigger basement. The basement now is about 2,800 square feet, which is small. And so um, that's, that's what I- Only the size of the house I'm living in right now. But <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I wish I'd have dug that out. But one of the lessons I learned, if you're going to do a renovation like this, knock the whole fucking house down. Mm. Knock the whole house down. Because we shook loose a lot of that old foundation and the bricks just crumbled. They, I mean, they were just falling. So this guy had to come in and put all of these bricks back up. And and then, uh, oh, let me tell you about this a horror story. So I had this concrete guy. I give him the first plan. I said, well, the plans change, the porch. 
the nigga, he pulled the front porch the size of the old plant. I'm like, oh my God. Then he pulled it too short on the other side. Then he pulled the fucking, he pulled the uh, fa- uh, the garage a little small. I'm like, he got to go. <laughs> <laughs> he needs at least needs a measuring tape. Or... <laughs> I just don't know. He, then he always say. He doing that oh. thing where he used his feet to measure the. <laughs> <laughs> just wasting concrete. <laughs> <laughs> wasting. I mean, literally wasting. So a lot of my time after you got rid of him, I had to go behind him with the block guy. So. How many, then, how many different contractors are you working on a house with? Oh, it's a lot of contractors. Uh, right now, I just got a block guy, and I got the framer out there. Mm. And I, I, I just hired another concrete company that's, um, from this place that uh, I, re- I, I found this really nice girl. So um, <laughs> I found this uh, really nice. I, I, you know, first of all, I called a big company in Atlanta for the lumber, right? So he gave me this out enormous price. So you know me, I'm thinking like, no, this wood package shouldn't cost this fucking much because I don't did my homework. I don't looked at enough TikTok. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> so I buy the first package and I just don't sit right with me. I'm like, this dude is overcharging me like 15 grand. Hmm. So I get on my phone and I started Googling another young uh, lumber yard and I found one. I literally fucking found one and happened to call the girl. I was actually calling about wonders, doors, interior doors. And come to find out, they had a whole fucking lumber yard. Had her the price that the motherfucker charged me like $15,000 old for the first package. I said, well, you won't get that chance again. When he when I was trying to order something else, I said, hey, I got, some, I got a competitor for you. You want to meet these prices, please? And he met him. So I know he was overcharging me. I said, you don't get to fuck me but once. I'm not buying nothing else from you. I mean, where her joist was 150, he was charging me 400. Holy cow. Damn. Yeah. So I bet you know, the inflation, people just like they just way overcharge because, well, way, it's just inflation. And, and it's ridiculous how just how they try to rob you. That's why you have to, you know, one good thing is before when I bought the house and tore it down, I bought a lot of wood before the COVID hit. Hmm. So I just stored the wood. So that helped out a lot. So you were planning this house in like 2019-ish? I was just, it's so big. So I just putting shit out in the sheds. But I'm saying like, you were fixing your own house during 2020. Like you were imagining I'm going to build a big house way back then? No, no, no. It's 2022. So 2021. When I first bought the house, I started buying shit for the house. Oh, okay. Before, you the, before house the pandemic. Okay. I got yeah, confused. Sorry. Yeah. Well, a little bit what during the pandemic. But when yeah, I moved yeah. here, the pandemic had it had it had started to calm down a little bit. And the prices came down one time on wood, like really low back to normal, they shot back up. So yeah. I bought a bunch of stuff during that time. Gotcha. I, so as soon as I closed, the shit was going crazy. And I I caught my I caught all of my appliances. That was good because the refrigerator I bought is another five thousand dollars now. Did they finally ship it? It ain't came yet. It's been a year. I got everything <laughs> else. I got everything else except the refrigerator. Wow, they're just that back ordered, huh? They're that back ordered. She got one of them Instagram refrigerators. Like it does Instagram for you. <laughs> Like you can post from your ice maker? <laughs> Fuck no, Chris. <laughs> it should be. It should wipe your ass as much as I paid for it. Yeah, these they they they're putting computers into things that you don't need computers. Like you you can put Facebook on your on your. Uh, I don't need Facebook on my TV or my stove or. That's how they track you, baby. Yeah, I I've never understood why would they why would they put a timer on your um uh, on your washing machine. Who the fuck is starting their clothes when they at work? <laughs> Wait, what? You can you can set your washing machine to start. Like you can put a load of clothes in there and you can start it from your phone. It's a smart washing machine. But yeah. nigga, you ain't sitting nobody over there to put that shit in the dryer. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's pointless. They're, they're gonna be stinking by the time you get off work. They're gonna be dry. It's so just- like, and these like this, they're so vulnerable to attacks because there's no security on your dishwasher. 
but you've got your internet hooked up and then they can steal all your shit. Don't do it, Miss yeah. Pat. Don't oh, no. update your Instagram from your fridge. Oh no, I'm not doing that. I'm not I'm not doing that. I I I I'm I'm not computer savage like that. I don't give a fuck about no Instagram when I'm in there trying to eat a piece of cheese. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that. I, I'm old. Next I'm thing just... you know, it'll get hacked and there'll be somebody watching you eat cheese in the middle of the night. Yeah. From your and, and that's the crazy shit. So I'm like, I'm not doing all of that. So my construction life is running me fucking crazy. You are the busiest person I know with one of your jobs. Like just the morning radio show exhausts all the people that I work with on a daily basis. And then you've got all this other shit going. Like, is this your fun? Like, is this sort of like, you know how you've got work, but then everybody has that hobby where they're just kind of like, I'm going to research and do all this other stuff. And this is like the thing that you kind of secretly look forward to doing. And that's why you're doing it. This is fun to me. It is so fun. I love catching videos. I went out and bought a drone with my husband when I bought a drone. He like fucking toys now. So he bought a drone and it's so like neat to see when they send me pictures and shit. So I hired Junebug until he go back to work. I said, every every day you come out and you fly the drone over the house so I can capture pictures and that's how I give people update on the house. Cool. So, you know, I got it's, it's going to be beautiful. Because you really seem like you had a blast during the pandemic. Like you were bored out of your mind and wanted to get out of your house and go on the road. But like you really had fun updating your house. And like the joy that I saw you with that equaled your comedy stuff almost. I don't sleep it. Um, it was fun. I'm going to tell you, it was it was really fun. Like today, uh, it's, it's, it, building a house from scratch is, is the shit you discover. That even though I I paid all that money for architecture plan, well, she gave me a wall. And when you just got walls going straight down the steps to me, it make it feel like it's cheap. Mm. So I was like, why this wall? You know, and I'm thinking about we fat and I kid got to come down those steps. And eventually you got to have some steps that ain't got no rail or wall to it. The police <laughs> issued walker that he needs. <laughs> <laughs> you better get him one of them electric <laughs> elevator <laughs> chairs. <Some> wall riders. <laughs> What what I did was I just today I said hey I want you to move this wall out a little bit more and open it up a little bit more so that's what oh, I my wide what body I no need son yeah everybody wide body and then I then I had this that nigga got a custom made wall <laughs> shut up man then I had this whole room and then when you come down the steps it's gonna be like storage and I was like no nah, you know they can really use that for more entertainment you really could you go down yeah. you know and watch you know. TV and shit. And, How much know. can you change plans like that without a disrupting like some sort of code or b like disrupting like load bearing walls and stuff? Like, do you have a I'm lot not, of flexibility? Um, you do. It's according to which wall you want to move. But I wasn't really moving a wall. I was just moving the walls to the stairs out a little bit. Well, I couldn't move them. That's why I cut the wall off and had the stairs open because it was that was a load bearing wall and it was up on the beam. And it would have it would have messed up the design of the house upstairs. Mm. Everything went lined up. So, yeah, that I don't know how you do it. You know so much more about it than anybody it's, I know. It's kind of cool when you go online. If you like decorate, I mean, if you like this shit, I be on TikTok every night. So TikTok made me buy every fucking thing, y'all. TikTok <laughs> need to be arrested. Cause it is out here breaking bitches. <laughs> TikTok is should be fucking arrested. It's, it's this guy on here called Builder Brigade, Brigade, and he tells you what you should do when you're remodeling your house. And so, y'all, he said he got a checklist, right? I don't know why I feel like some of my nose. He said he got a checklist. I bought the checklist for $65. It is some shit I could have typed up myself. Yeah. I'm like, this ain't a fucking checklist. I already know all of it. Meanwhile, he's driving a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Content creators are making... But- Bang. Well, he, the very he, bottom of the list is gotcha bitch <laughs> <laughs> Check, so I went to bedroom and I'm thinking he gonna tell me all about the bedroom and shit he just said bedroom like light fixture ceiling fan uh, <laughs> color paint and that's it and I'm like wait a minute I paid six five off of this <laughs> <laughs> Well, he do have some good points. Like, uh, he he turned he kept the coolest thing to put in the house. Like, I bought these pressure washers that they put that they put uh you connect and they stay in your garage. 
and they also the pressure washing that wash your car. So that's really neat. And uh, I had never heard of it. I learned about big ass fans from him. Mm, yeah. You, you, you ever seen big ass fans? Yeah, we like, would talk to him to be a sponsor, of Bob and Tom. They're they're literally big ass fans. They're nice as fuck too. Yeah. So I learned about big ass fans from him. So I watch him all the time. I swear I got a booger that won't come out of my nose. I don't even know if it's a booger. It's some my nose. Excuse me. I'm getting but, secondhand um, nose itching from it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's it's really fun. It's, I don't want the podcast to be boring, but it's, I'm having so much fucking fun doing this that I don't even want to go to work. I just want to stay and watch the house be built. That's 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 cute. I love it. But you're next on, week, you said what you say. I say you said you're on TikTok a lot. Did you see the guy who got divorced from his wife and told her she could keep the house? <laughs> and then he fucking tore it down. He changed his mind the next morning, came out with a bulldozer and just burned it all down. While she was at work. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't lock him up. I don't know. It was the neighbor at TikTok. He was like, so apparently my neighbors are getting a divorce. He told the wife that she could keep the house. And uh, what she doesn't know as she went to work today is he and his friend came over with a backhoe and they literally knocked the entire house down. I Just tore Earth, it all up. Earthquake posted that. Again, he's got the best Instagram. That shit oh was God. hilarious. <laughs> You're not going to put it up there? Uh, I'm, I'm pulling it up now. I'm, I'm going to find it. He posts some no. of the funniest shit. I could not imagine coming home to no home. <laughs> <laughs> no, how about the nigga didn't even clean the house out, so he don't knock the shit off. Poor cat, just meowing. We are getting a divorce. She told him last night that he, or he told her last night that she could have the house and everything in it. <laughs> well, this morning he goes and rents some heavy equipment, and him and his best friend has been over here today while she's been at work. And, uh, she hasn't got home yet. Uh, um, she has no idea. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That, that is, is some petty ass shit right there. Ta- in, uh, it's TikTok tattoos and scars 76 is the one that posted it. Uh, first of all, <laughs> that house doesn't even look like shit. They look like a shade. <laughs> well, you heard his accent. You know, it's Probably out in the country. Yeah, every, everybody's not balling. <laughs> the still everybody can't, everybody can't afford the wild, wild west Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a wild, wild west crazy ass Mexican. To rent a bad hole and knock the fucking house down? Is the house even paid for? Oh, hell no. <laughs> she she going to get off work, pull her driveway, thinking about the house shower she can't take. About to take and like what all is the hot water coming out the ground. You know what's fucked up is that she had a smart washing machine and she got an alert. <laughs> <laughs> you are being crushed. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong, so <laughs> H-E-L-P. <laughs> that is fucked up. They need to lock his ass up. They need to lock his ass up. Not I want to know down. why they got divorced. <laughs> You got to be extra mad that wreck, <laughs> did he wreck your house. You got to be extra mad to knock a whole house down he with probably, shit still in it. He probably put the windows in there and the wind didn't stop coming in. So she's like, it's time for you to go, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Randy said, and not without me turning into the big bag wolf. I huff and I puff. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> I want to know that conversation he had with his friend to help him get all that shit knocking down. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and knock this bitch house down. I told her she can keep everything, but I ain't telling she gonna have to pick it up first. <laughs> I love your, your white country accent. <laughs> it's fun when you do my people. <laughs> <laughs> I told the bitch she can have the house. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the bitch didn't know she gonna have to pick it up and look for some shit up under some rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a cold blooded motherfucker right there. That's a cold blooded motherfucker. To do that kind of shit, use a cold blooded motherfucker. And how about his friend who's like, let's roll. 
<laughs> he's not, he's not like, I know, about, I know a backhoe guy. <laughs> right? Not you should think about this. Maybe take a minute. No, let's get the fucking backhoes and go to town. <laughs> I told you that bitch was a fucking cheater from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that bitch fucked me too, Randy. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I get the fuck out of here. I gotta go do this other shit. <laughs> hey, don't forget, y'all. I will be uh I will be at Raleigh next week and I'm going to the Emmy. So make sure you watch. I will be there all next week. So make sure you make watch. I'm gonna be on the red carpet. So hopefully everything will hopefully I answer the questions intelligent. <laughs> We'll pray for you. <laughs> Intelligently. <laughs> Intelligent. <laughs> uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about my dress when y'all see it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I me too. am too. I am too. So um, uh, make sure y'all go to misspackcomedy.com and see where I'm going to be at. Make sure y'all spread the word about the Miss Pat Comedy, Miss Pat Show. Because we out there killing it. We want to keep killing it. And I'm trying to bring something home for all of us, which is an Emmy. You know, for Miss Directly. I don't win it myself, but the lady who directed the episode. So we got to get her on the podcast. I will get Mary Lou on here. I got to get her on there. I probably, it'd be better after. Yeah, have her talk about her experience. Because that's got to be a crazy feeling to be nominated like that. Yeah, that's her first time. And I'm like, so you write happy. The speech? Uh, you don't know if you get to use a speech. I wouldn't even make a speech. Yeah. If, if she win, I I hope I get to go on stage. I'm saying it's unbelievable. I am on TV, big time, and I ain't kill nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Just go up there and repeat Chris Rock's words, dude. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Jane joke. It killed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. With that said, make sure y'all tune in to the Miss Pat Show and MissPatComedy.com for uh all the tour dates. Come on, Raleigh. I need you to get your tickets. I'm on my fucking way next week. No, when am I in Raleigh? In, I thought uh, it was next week. The, or the, the, September like the 9th and the 10th. Yeah. Night. Okay, you won't tell the edit right now, too. Come on, Raleigh, get your tickets. September the 9th and 10th. I'll be at Raleigh for two nights only. Four shows, get your tickets. I love you guys. I gotta go. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of the Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.